the very controversial uh, dismissal because Angelo Matthews was given time doubt and this is the first time this has happened in international cricket lots of views spirit of the game whether it was right or not michael we start with you <laughs> firstly let us know what the exact rule is because for fans who don't know what this is we technically don't know what the exact rule is yeah i mean first of all can i start with the spirit of the game don't get me started on that because <laughs> every single team and i'm not saying every single player that i've ever played with but every single team that i played with and every single team that i watched breaks the spirit of the game every single day mm -hmm. they do something that's not within the spirit so let's clear that out um, you've got two minutes. In 50 over cricket, you have two minutes to get from the dugout or the dress room to face your first ball. So Angela Matthew gets out there. I think as an experienced pro, he probably, as, as in his head, thought, well, I've, I've got out there. What he's not realised is you have to face your first ball. Mm. And he does break the strap, so he has broken a piece of his equipment, which you are allowed to replace. If he would have been a little bit smarter, I mean, he's facing Shaky, but he's not going to get hurt. And if a strap's dangling from your helmet, it shouldn't really put you off facing the left arm spinner. The smart thing for him to have done would have been to face the first ball, and it would have been a decent length, he probably would have played a forward defence, and then gone, uh, I've broken my strap, can I replace my helmet? They'd have gone, not a problem. The fact that he didn't do that, and the fact that he just walked away, yes, Shaqib's going to get loads of people, particularly on social media, saying he broke the spirit of the game, he's a disgrace. He's well within his rights. It is the laws of the game. Is it something that many captains would do probably would have been a few captains going no you're fine don't worry mm -hmm. but Shaki was in his right it's the laws of the game so I think Angela Matthews had one of those moments that he's probably forgotten that you have to face a delivery and he's kind of had one of those moments that he'd be probably arguing about and then he'll sit back and go it, it, it was my mistake and he can't be challenging the spirit of the game I just think it's utter nonsense when we start talking the spirit of the game uh, the umpire's got it right but Simon, we saw uh, Angelo Matthews kind of go to Shakib and say that, you know, this is just, it's, it's an accident and it's happened. So we saw that little bit of tussle between them and we saw him go out, fling his helmet, <laughs> could see the anger. It, it was too late. Go to Shakib as soon as you break it. Mm. Go to Shakib then and say, mate, I've broken my helmet. Can I take an, an extra minute or two here before I face the first ball? Go to the umpires and say, can I? If I can't, then that's fine. Mm. I'll face the first ball with the broken helmet and then I'll replace it. That's okay. Totally agree with that stance. Match awareness. I mean, he's not hes not a rookie. He's not a, a newcomer. He's not playing his first game or his first World Cup. He's an experienced campaigner, Angelo Matthews. So just maybe just go to the captain, go to the umpire and say, okay, can I take this? Can I take the time to do this? If you can't, just face the first ball, as, as Michael said, and then then say, look, mm -hmm. now I can change my helmet. I'll face the first ball. That's what I need to do. It's uh, a massive mistake, huge error. I'm with Vaughnie on the spirit of cricket. Don't get me started <laughs> on that. Where, Please, where, where, it's a, where it's a gray area. Mm -hmm. So just say that, uh, you know, so he's, he's wasting time. He's taking time out of the game. Um, say just, you know, he can swap his helmet. It takes another couple of minutes. Who's going to be affected by that? Bangladesh, because mm -hmm. of overrates. And this is my one bugbear with this situation is that He's been given out and it's in the laws, I understand that. Is there enough done in the game to speed up over eight? Mm. You know, so the one thing that we've all been complaining for years and years now in test match cricket, 50 over cricket, is the punishment enough on the day for slow over eight? Are the umpires and is the game doing enough to speed around these players to get through the overs? No. Mm. Yeah, an incident like this happens and a player's off, out, get out <laughs> yeah. of here. So there's a little bit of two, two kind of schools here that, you know, it, it's harsh on Angelo Matthews when you look at it just purely that he's been given out, timed out the first time in international cricket history. But I kind of go, yeah, you're out because it's the laws. But then I think, well, wait a minute, they're not doing enough to speed up the over rate. So, um, yeah, that annoys me. But... You know, it's a talking point for many. You know, some will say that it's a disgrace. Some will say, <laughs> like we're saying, look, it's within the laws. Uh, what would I have done as a captain uh, in the heat of a bat battle against someone that potentially that I'd had a bit of a, <laughs> a set two within the past? Uh, I would have been appealing as well. Mm -hmm. But you know, the, you all have taken your stance very clearly on the spirit of the game. But like you all know, the discussions on social media and generally in fans, there are very polarised uh, debates on the spirit of the game. Is usually when there are 
uh, well dismissals which which we don't see yeah. it almost feels like they've both been playing forever mm. and it almost feels like you know this is the first time it's ever happened so there's this confusion because maybe he wasn't aware it was 2 minutes maybe he wasn't aware that you know he can call for the helmet and maybe yeah. it's when he enters the ground when the time comes in to give him the benefit of doubt again it's sort of i mean and he's not a rookie you know i mean he's played so much international if he doesn't know it's 2 minutes there's something wrong mm. uh you know there's a whole lot of things going on that that should have he should have been thinking about and he should know better um if he doesn't know then he's not you know he's not thinking properly about the game I, and look he's given it a little pull and it's broken off i get all that should he be allowed to replace it absolutely he should but he's gone about it the wrong way yeah yeah he, he just hasn't gone about it in the right fashion i'm pretty much convinced that if he'd gone to shakib mm. shakib would have said absolutely no problem so he just walked off but he didn't he just walked off yeah. yeah and and you just can't do that mm. you can't do those I, things i mean so, a smart angelo matthews would have gone but oh, the strap's gone and they've gone shakib um, uh, i yeah. broke my strap I, i'll face this first delivery mm. and then can i change my helmet i will guarantee they probably have gone oh let's change it now change it now mm. but because you've asked the fact that he didn't ask correct and yeah. he just walked away um there's there lies the problem